Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Asus VivoBook 16, the X1605 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your touchpad, trackpad, uh, the mouse pad on your palm rest. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplug from your charger. We're then going to go to the bottom case where we can take out your screws. So as you see here, you've got four screws along this bottom edge. You've got two screws here two screws here, and two screws in the middle, giving you a total of 10 screws. After all those screws are removed, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your cases a little less than metal ones do, but you're gonna take it and go around the outside edge, the seam between the bottom case and the palm rest, and gently but firmly pry the bottom case off from your computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in, you could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck in, in one place, leave it, go to the other edge, and work your way around in the other direction. This one wasn't too difficult to take off, just so you're aware. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a quick side point with computer repair guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to the tools and supplies that I would use on this model computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model VivoBook. Now, one thing I do before touching anything in a computer, guys, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right here along the bottom. To get this battery up, there's four screws and it's plugged into the motherboard right here. Now, if you see in, in your plug, guys, there's a metal part right on top that holds down the plastic plug. So to get this off, you're gonna slide that metal part up to free this up and then you can snap that right off, up and off of your motherboard to get that battery out. Okay, so now that the battery is removed, we can access your touchpad. As you can see, there's a screw here and a screw here. Those are the only screws holding down your trackpad. After you unscrew those, you'll be able to lift this up. However, keep in mind there's several things attached to it. You have this piece of tape right there you may wanna take up. Uh, you have the speaker and the antenna wire that run down through here. So don't just rip this off, you could damage that. Uh, and then also you have this ribbon cable here that connects the touchpad to the motherboard. These clips are very breakable guys, so be very careful when operating these kind of clips. As you can see, there's a little black clip on each one and the port itself is white. So the way you operate this is you're gonna put a small flat pry tool, very, very flat underneath this black clip from this direction, coming from where the ribbon cable is coming from, and then you're gonna slowly, gently pop that up. This thing will open like a book cover. It'll open from this end here on the bottom, and the hinge end is up here on top. So it will hinge up and open after you pop that up. Now I'm, I'm cautioning you about this because these black clips, they're very fragile, you can easily damage it, and if you do, you may not be able to find a replacement, which means the ribbon cable will not uh, securely fasten in place anymore. So again, just be very careful with those. The ribbon cable itself is just held on by double-sided tape, so you can peel that up if needed. As a last side note, guys, if you're having touchpad issues, uh, maybe it's not reading your movement very well, maybe it's jumping around, it could be that your touchpad is bad and needs to be replaced, in which case this should help if you're replacing it. But it also could be something else. It could be a software issue, a driver update may be needed. If you want to explore that, there'll be a video link above. I'll also have it below in the description, how you can update all your drivers, update your software, make sure that that's not what's causing it before you try to replace the actual component. So I hope this video was helpful. It's how you access your touchpad, trackpad, mousepad, uh, whatever you want to call it, assembly in this model computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. 
To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.